now Toledo. Throw tail, oh. nose pick, reverse in transition. Now looking to close it out. A full <laughs> rotation, tail high punt. It comes in at a 10 point ride for Felipe Toledo. If you're not in love with those four rotations he does, then you're kind of blind. Oh but my goodness. Dumps it perfectly. I look back at some of the highlights or whatever from last year and I went, oh my gosh, he's nearly like Charles Manson or something when he's on those waves. He just puts it all on the line. Borderline evil, it's so gnarly. <laughs> His turns are so powerful and tight in that pocket. His rail game, he comes out of it with tons of speed. So much passion and heart is going into his surfing, it's like baffling. You know, as a competitor competing against him, you just gotta look and go, whoa, try to forget about it real quick. Not many people actually can surf better in a heat than they do free surfing, and Philippe's one of those guys. I grew up in Ubatuba, Brazil. It's a really small city with a, a lot of different spots for surf and a really beautiful place. My dad used to be a pro surfer. He's a three-time Brazilian champ. I was 10 months old when I cut my first wave with my dad. <laughs> I saw in Felipe um, a big potential. He can read the wave. Uh, it's different than the others. Sometimes it's hard, you know, like to separate like dad and coach, so, but it's really fun. I think I'm learning every day, be a dad, about be a coach, I'm still trying. I have an older brother, uh, Mateus, he's like 24. He used to compete as well, you know, like on the amateur in Brazil and also uh, as a pro in Brazil. He used to be like a really good aerialist as well. I mean, a lot of those Brazilians, they run deep with their family to events and when one of them's coming to America to live, they're all coming to America to live. <laughs> I moved to San Clemente two years ago uh, with the whole family. I think the opportunity here is much better than Brazil. He's really taken to the California lifestyle and spent a lot of time here, you know, and he's really approachable and he has a fan base. And I think that's been one of the hardest things for Brazilian surfers to achieve in America, the fan base. Some really big and exciting news. Um, my, my girlfriend, she's pregnant. I'm a grandpa now. Yeah, man. This is definitely a blessing, you know. The most like precious thing you get in the world, you know, is to be a family, to be a dad. So I'm just like really excited. I have a lot to learn. I'm just like trying to improve my, my surfing, you know, like in this way, because I know I feel I'm, I'm really good on airs, but I feel I'm not the same, you know, like surfing on the uh, rail game or barrels, you know, so I'm trying like to improve my surfing on this side, like big barrels, big waves, you know, like big turns. I think there's a lot more to come from him. I think he's checking all the boxes to be a you know, world champion. Really happy where I am right now and who I am right now. I'm just enjoying, enjoying this time of my life.